On Saturday night in Desert Financial Arena, everyone's kicks were laced up for a good one. The fans and Sparky were ready for a top tier matchup as the Arizona State Sun Devils faced off against the Missouri Tigers, ASU's toughest opponent this season. The Sun Devils were coming in hot, riding a five match win streak, but this time, number 10 Missouri was too much for the Sun Devils, winning the duel 19 to 14. ASU started in cruise control, winning four of the first five matches. First was Brandon Courtney, whose two late kickdowns secured a 10 to five decision over Noah Certain. Number four, Mikhail McGee came into his match riding two straight technical falls, but Missouri's Connor Brown was a tough out at 133. McGee rode some takedowns to get ahead early and survived a late comeback attempt by Brown to win 8-6. After freshman Mikey Ramos lost 3-1 in a hard-fought match, Kyle Parko got the Sun Devils back on track with another low-scoring battle, winning 3-2. The undefeated Ja'Cory Teamer then strut his way into his matchup with number 21 Jarek J. Cuse. But this one was again a challenge. With little action down the stretch, fans were calling for stalling on both wrestlers, who took it to sudden death tied 1-1 to -one after three periods. There, Teamer called match. But the tide completely shifted thereafter, with number 7 Anthony Valencia having his hands full with number 2 Keegan O'Toole. After a hard blow, Valencia was seen holding his ribs and needing medical attention. Later, O'Toole would take the match with a fall in the third period for a six-point swing. Head coach Zeke Jones weighed in after the duel on whether the injury played a factor in Valencia's match. I don't know. I don't know until I get back to see how he's doing physically, but I think it shook him up a little bit, and I think he had to reset mentally, and uh, that's the challenge, is Anthony being steady for seven minutes in a match. The Sun Devil faithful was not enough, as Mizzou would go on to win the next three matches, which featured Cordell Norfleet losing to Rocky Elam in a top 10 matchup at 197 to seal the Tigers' dual victory. Number two heavyweight Colton Schultz closed out the meet using his brute force to win 8-1, but it was too little too late, with the loss being ASU's first at home this season. Head coach Zeke Jones said the team needed this duel to see where the team stacks up in the country, and now there's some cleanup work to be done. ASU will have time to do that against Lehigh here in Tempe next week before preparing for the Pac-12 championships. But for now, I'm Jonah Carell, Cronkite Sports.